Alright, what is going on today? It's Tyler Films here, and today we are back in LSPFR, and we're going to be doing a, uh, a state trooper patrol. Yes, that, that is what is the, uh, the plan for today. This skin right here is a custom made skin by myself on the, uh, Herx S8 HP CHP base pack, well, mega pack I believe it was. This, uh, I plan on releasing these as soon as I hit, uh, we're gonna ignore that call, but as soon as I hit 100 subscribers on this channel, so be sure and check in on that. But yep, let's see, let's get into it. We're gonna probably be running radar for a little bit, just taking calls as they come in. Alright, so we are going to be making a stop on this car up here. This uh, Voltic. He was going 9 miles per. What the heck is going on here? Um, that is a little bit strange, to say the least. Oh. <clears throat> We're going to uh, act like two specific things don't happen, such as the guy in the roadway. And. Go ahead and pull over, man. Come on. Pull over, bud. He is taking his sweet freaking time here. Oh, really? Now you want to pull over. And you want to pull over in a horrible spot. Whatever, we are going to go ahead and work with it. Let's go ahead and get a play check on him. Expired insurance. Alright, let's go ahead and make contact with the person. Alright, sir, do you know why I pulled you over today? Oh, I got you going about nine miles per hour over the speed limit there. You were traveling over the postal limit. Sorry, my son, I've been paying attention. All right, can I get your license, registration, proof of insurance, real quick? Thank you. Yep, yeah, it is looking like his insurance is going to go ahead and be expired before we do anything. Let's go ahead and look him up. In the in the CAD. Record check on the car. So his insurance is expired. Let's make sure he has nothing going on with him. And probation on parole. Nope. Alright. Let's go ahead and write him a citation. I'm not sure if uh we're probably gonna come a warning on the speed since he wasn't going that fast, but we are gonna get him on the expired insurance. Wherever that might be. Uh, that's probably going to be a tow. Let's go ahead and just warn him on the insurance and get him on the speed. No, because then it's not going to cover. Alright. Let's go ahead and get him on that. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be... Uh, seizing this person's vehicle all right let's go ahead and inform him of the news I'm not sure if with this yep he's gonna get out Actually, we can do this a little bit better. We can get him a taxi since it is ring. Oh, this is not going to let me stop him. Alright, I guess he's just going to go ahead and walk himself home. So let's, um, uh, quest tow service, a small tow truck. Alright, tow is going to be in route. Alrighty, I believe that is going to be all for this one.
So I will cut to the next call. All right, so it looks like we have a another. Ooh. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and ignore that traffic stop and respond to this manslaughter. Well, possible manslaughter. Is the house up here? Yeah, it's gonna be that house right there. Thirsty. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go ahead and get ourselves a few backup units in route due to this being. Let's get ourselves a trooper and a deputy. I don't know why that guy's on his bike today, but that is his own prerogative. Alright, so the deputy should be rolling up pretty soon. Alright. I'm so scared. Please explain to me, to me about what happened. I drive from the grocery store and I saw a girl shoot at shoot my neighbor. Do you know something from the shooter? Drove away in a black car and I know the plate number is 90 PDR 6329. Very good, we'll find your suspect based on the info. Ooh. Things aren't looking too good there. Um, let's go ahead and search the body. We didn't get fire and EMS in route to this. So this person had heroin, it's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and start CPR on this person due to them probably being not there. Okay. One quick round of CPR. It says it's failed. Let's see what EMS, fire and EMS. Let's go ahead and initiate another round of CPR if possible. Alright, so it looks like EMS is pulling up now. Um, let's go ahead and check in and see if we have an idea of where. So, we got an address for this person here. So, we will go ahead and make a move on that in a few minutes. After we get this scene all cleared up. So they are on C now. I see these two fellas right here. They should have. They should have wore their, wore their rain jackets like me. So let's go ahead and get a FBI. A group of FBI agents out here since this is looking like it's not going to be a manslaughter. It's going to be a little bit more of a murder than a manslaughter. So we will go ahead and get them out here to get them doing their investigations. Alright, so he has been pronounced dead. <clears throat> so we will wait for FBI to get here and then call the coroners. Alright, so it's like F the FBI units are showing up. I really just call them because I'm curious to how they uh, they appear on here. Because this is a new kind of set of mods I have going here. 
Oh, it looks like they are here doing their FBI thing. So we're going to go ahead and call this corner and get this wrapped up. In a few minutes, we are going to get ready. We're going to call, go ahead and call some SWAT units up. And we are going to apprehend the person that possibly did this. I'm going to go ahead and cut to that. So you guys don't have to sit here and wait for the corner to get here with me. I know I said that I was going to cut to the next scene, but I went ahead and got an idea on her. And we're going to... She has track marks on her arm, apparently. So it seems like these people are pretty well associated with drugs and drug trafficking. So we're going to go ahead and pat her down real quick and make sure she doesn't have anything on her. We probably should have that a little while ago. Lockpick and Rusty Spoon. Alright, so that kind of alluded to nothing. We're going to stay in contact with her. Actually, we're going to set a neighbor. Okay. Alright, yeah, we're going to go ahead and release her. But just make, probably should have got, just make sure we get contact information on her and stuff of that nature. So now I'm going to cut to the apprehension we have going. Alrighty, so we got quite a few units here. We went ahead and, uh, activated SWAT team assistance as you guys can clearly see maybe maybe went a little excessive but we're gonna go ahead and make our move on our our suspect here let's see are they are they come yep they're coming alrighty Alright sir, what's going on today? This is Officer Tyler with the SAHP. That's true, but I haven't seen it since last night. Was it stolen? No, I think my sister took a car without my position. Why? Someone saw a murderer leaving the scene with your car. We can find it soon before she's gone too far. <sighs> Alright, so that looks like that will be a little bit of a dead end, to say the least on that one let's see if uh... let's see what the ALPR units have to say I believe we have more than enough backup also then maybe next time will be a little bit less of a hostile response well, a little less extreme of a response so I will cut to once we get everything figured out with the ALPR units so well ALPR reading so with ALPR it's saying that she is over in this general area of the map we are a pretty good distance out so we'll see if we can get there on time well in a timely manner to get her before she disappears Alright, so it looks like the vehicle is right here. We're going to go ahead and get behind them. Love how this car decided to get between us and the the suspect here. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, so we are behind the the car in question. I'm going to run her plate real quick and see if see if it matches up. Hopefully she will pull off the yep good stuff. I was going to say so we can do a proper code 5 on her without being too concerned with traffic. Alright, so we got the vehicle in question stop. We're going to go ahead and code 5 her. Let's see it. Make sure my backup units are ready to make this happen. Alright, man, put your hands up. Get on the ground. Alright, we're gonna go in for the cuff on this person. 
maybe. I like how he just slings that AR into his his pocket. Works for me. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to grab her real quick and move her up here and get her patted down. I don't really know what my backup's up to. Where are they at? Alright, ma'am, I'll have my buddy here patch you up, patch you up, patch you down, patch you up. That sounds, that doesn't sound good. Alright, ma'am, you know why you, uh, you were getting stopped today and detained? That's due to you being possibly a terrorist mask. Possibly associate with the murder. Let's see what she actually knows. Alright, where are you up to, ma'am? She's just waiting for a friend. Do you live in this neighborhood? Alright, so she lives with her grandma. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get her in the back of the squad car. So we're going to do a search of the vehicle really quickly. I'm happy we were able to get her detained with a relative to no issue. So a hatchet in the trunk. So we, we were unable to find the murder weapon because she was apparently shot by a handgun but we have her in custody and that is really all that matters and I believe uh, having her in they're gonna go ahead and probably interrogate her I'd imagine but yeah thank you guys for tuning in this has turned out to be a quite an eventful episode to say the least it's supposed to start off as you know just a simple traffic patrol but you know how things escalate. So thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to check out my next upcoming videos. I hope you guys have a wonderful night.